previously on Chaser. to get to Mars. Kabir. Chase I am so very happy to meet you in person, Mr. Chase. But such a shame you have come at the worst possible time. About an hour ago, we received a report on an attempt to disrupt our business activities. In fact, we are expecting an assault. My cousin Shalid is ambitious to take over my business. I am afraid that your demand for a ticket to Mars will have to be postponed, if not cancelled. Allow me to express my sincerest regrets. Hello and welcome back to a very noisy start. So we've now met Kabir face to face and he's going to be our guide for the foreseeable future but first we have to take care of one of his problems. We're in a little bit of a pickle in that we're trapped in a warehouse surrounded by some men presumably aligned with Kabir's cousin so let's uh, take care of that. In this tiny little office area, Kabir is hiding, can't kill him or damage him in any way, and on the wall is a poster which turns out to be a bit of an easter egg. that I'm making use of the famous grenades to clear out a lot of enemies at once. The splash damage is, is very good for this level, in fact I recommend it above actually shooting anyone. Now I'd said in the previous episode that this is the worst level in the game and I stand by that. Basically it's the mechanic that this game employs, that being a defense mechanic, where you have to just basically stick out and kill everything that comes your way. This level is split up into more or less three sections. The first two are, are quite similar and then the third one is, is different enough and, and actually where the problem kicks in. Here's some quick vanity graffiti, no doubt by the uh, creator of the level. When we reach the second of the three encounters, the AI itself runs over to this door in preparation for the third encounter, but um, they just kind of hang around and don't really help all that much. Now I'm just going to stop things for a minute or two here just to explain the defense mechanic a little bit more clearly. Thank you. 
The difference in this level of Chaser is that we don't really have the waves of the enemies just running straight at us, at least not in these first two encounters. We have to reach a criteria of dead soldiers and we just have to keep shooting until it happens. Then the encounter itself actually kicks in automatically. As you can see when the enemies respawn they just come back to the same locations over and over again. And when you realize this, um, it actually becomes quite easy to exploit. Unfortunately, the AI is still quite um, a handy shot, so it isn't a walk in the park by any stretch of the imagination. Others are coming! Sadly, this is as laborious as it looks. You can't really run out and just kind of shoot people willy-nilly. They, they will fuck you, so you do have to hide behind things like this, and it, it does get very repetitive, very, very slow going. I really want to take whoever created this level and give them a slap in the back of the head because it's. The way they respawn and run to the same location is, is just so stupid. If you just added some variance here, it might help things a little bit more, but uh, it's so lazy. I can't believe it. It, it beggars belief. Are coming. And with that, we're on to the final encounter of this defense mechanic. final task for the level is to uh, protect this truck and the way we do that is just by killing everyone that we see. The enemies come in two flavors, you've got the ones that shoot only at the truck and you've got the ones that shoot only at you. There is no way to tell the difference so you just have to kind of kill everyone. The best way by far to do this is to make use of the famous grenades and try not to use them all because they, the game kind of throws you a curveball right at the very end so you need to hold on to a few. And to do that, you have to actually exit the uh, the warehouse and uh, pick up some drop guns. It also helps to pick up some uh, health as well. What are you doing here? There are too many. I'm the lead. This final encounter is really just endurance. You have to put up with it until the game decides that you've had enough. Now it's possible to run outside the warehouse and then keep on running. So let's see what happens if we do that. First we get um, an ambiguous initial warning that doesn't really tell us if we're leaving the area, but this is what it means. Here we've got some more graffiti. I'm guessing that's another designer. And when you cross the final boundary you get this line and that's it. It ends. More stunning AI on the left here. And now we've reached the end game of the, this particular level. You have to just bounce back and forth between the open front door and the, the glass ceiling of the this section of the warehouse. Just kill anything that's there and hopefully the truck won't take more damage than it can handle and you'll be fine. The final trick that the game plays is it throws you about six or seven of these guys at the front door all at once. So if you don't have any grenades, you're going to have a hard time with uh, clearing them all out of the way in time, but um, I seem to manage it. You freak. You can see the truck is smoking from three places. Um, I think that's pretty much the, the limit of things. I think I got very close to actually losing. And that's, that's kind of your indication of how, how badly you're doing. The more smoky it is, the more closer to death. And with 
this final flurry of guys were finally done, so I'll see you next time. Deepest thanks for your help. Alone, we would undoubtedly have perished. We did not find Halid. When he realized he could not win here, he probably turned tail and ran. Ah, yes. That would be just like him. I must say, I am actually pleased that it has worked out this way. I very much dislike attending family funerals. Well, what are you waiting for? Load up the boxes so we may finally make our departure. Welcome aboard! Next time on Chaser.